Hi, and welcome to the presentation of the MasterTrack Communication Design for Innovation as part of the Master Program Science Education and Communication. My name is Steven Flipsa, Assistant Professor at the Communication Design for Innovation Research Group. In this presentation, I'll give you a little bit more information about the MasterTrack Communication Design for Innovation. I'll also tell you a little bit more about the program details and end with some administrative aspects. So, so what do we do? We understand that there is no innovation without communication. Communication is at the heart of innovation, in its conception, during its development, and in the launch of innovation in society. This goes way beyond just popularizing science. It is about the heart of science and engineering practice, the work of the people who are involved in innovation processes itself. Ranging from professional scientists and engineers to policy makers, corporations, doctors, all kinds of stakeholder groups, including also members of the public. With real-life cases in our education, we study how communication and collaboration works during innovation development and how we can support such communication and collaboration in real life. But what does this communication consist of? You will find out that while things may always seem simple, it is very difficult to understand how and why people work together, or don't. Most of the work that we do relates to new and emerging technological innovations in all kinds of different fields, ranging from the life sciences and health to urban planning and mobility, from the energy transition, transition to nanotech, from hardcore engineering to fundamental quantum physics. Communication and collaboration is everywhere. We train you to be an adaptive 21st century engineer, an expert who doesn't just understand science and technology, but who also understands that technology and innovation start with collaboration. We train you to be someone who wants to put as, at least as much effort in the organization of innovation as in the innovation itself. So now a little bit more about the program. In the first quarter we focus on knowledge courses knowledge about science communication and communication itself, and a basic course on journalism. In the second quarter, we have more strategic communication courses, so one around policy and strategy and one around marketing. The third and fourth quarter have a larger focus on research and communication design itself. A large case in the communication lab or C lab revolves around a real life case for which you will design for a case owner a communication-based solution. In parallel, the research methods courses prepare your, you for your graduation project in the second year. You may also choose to do this program as part of a double degree program in combination with another full technical 120 credit master. You can then combine this master and your technical master in a combined three-year program. I would like to say a little bit more about the C-Lab, our big communication design course that is part of our curriculum. Together with professionals, you will be submerged in a real-life case aiming to tackle real-life communication and collaboration-based problems. The kind of actors involved in these C-Lab cases are, for example, engineers, business development managers, policy makers, but also end users. You can see the kind of organizations that we have worked with over the past couple of years. Now a little bit more about the graduation project. For the single degree students, so the ones not involved in a double degree program, this is a 35 EC study into communication and collaboration in a technical field of your choice. As said earlier, communication and collaboration is everywhere and our students have no problems finding a situation where communication and collaboration have to be supported in their own technological fields of expertise. 
For the double degree students, we offer the opportunity to do an integrated thesis. So a large integrated research project combining both your technical master and the communication design for innovation masters in one big project. These projects can last a little bit longer than 35 ECs, but they offer also a little bit of integration discount if you integrate successfully the two topics of your graduation projects. Please feel free to ask any question around this particular process, considering that this is different for every student that enters our program. So, where do our students end up? Essentially, there are three major fields that we see our graduates moving on to. The first is adaptive engineers, so people who like to stay within science and technology. They go and work with all kinds of different science and technology based firms. The second is adaptive communication professionals with specific scientific, technological and social skills. So they become, for example, business development managers or data analysts. The last category is the category of researchers. A couple of our graduates wants to st want to stay within research and go and do a PhD project, either in the technical field or in the communication field. Then some administrative aspects. If you would like to be admitted to the program, all you need is a finalized bachelor in a scientific or technological field of your choice. This can be a study finalized at the Delft University, but also at any other technical university. We will develop together with you an individual study program that suits your agenda because we realize that all the different master tracks that our double degree and single degree students follow differ. I also want to briefly point your attention to our study association intersection. Finally, should you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch via email with either me or one of my colleagues.